Hi everybody, my name is Tom Weber. From 2007 until 2020, I was a guitar technician for Ed Van Halen. I'm here to talk about this guitar today. This guitar was a gift from Ed to me in 1988 when I was the house audio engineer at Starwood Amphitheater in Nashville, Tennessee. We had, a, we had Van Halen coming in for a show on October 4th, and uh, we had heard a rumor that uh, Ed and Al had been wrestling around the bus, and the only casualty of that uh, wrestling match was uh, uh, an ovation acoustic guitar uh, that Ed had on the bus. And I had recently, uh, I had recently traded my way into a, a bunch of musical equipment that included an Ovation uh, steel string uh, that uh, I really didn't have any use for and didn't have any money in. I uh, still had the tags hanging on it. And uh, so I decided that I wanted to give it to Ed because I was hoping to get a chance to meet him. Uh, Ed and I had some common friends uh, at Kramer Guitars. You know, Ed was obviously a, the most influential Kramer and Dorsey ever. And uh, I had worked for one of the early Kramer dealers and gotten to know uh, Dennis Berardi and a couple of the folks at the factory over the phone. Uh, we had a very good re working relationship with the company, but yeah. I decided to approach a fellow named Robert Eva, who was our promotions director at Starwood, and see if he could arrange for me to eat, meet with Ed, and, uh, and he did. Uh, so after the show, uh, which was amazing, by the way, at, uh, October 4th, 1988, uh, was quite a day uh, for all of us. But uh, after the show, uh, Robert came and collected me, and we went uh, backstage to the dressing room and Robert knocked and the door opened and he stepped in and a couple minutes later and he came back out with Ed and I, there was another gentleman there but I cannot remember who it was. I was a little enamored at that point I'm sure and as they were introducing me to Ed he were shaking hands and he hears my name and he said and, and you represent Ovation? I said no sir I don't. He said, this is your guitar. I said, yes, it is. And he said, and you want to give it to me? I said, yes, I do. And he leaned in with a kind of stern look on his face, and he said, why? And I said, well, we have some common friends, and there's a story that you know one side of, and I know the other side of, and I was kind of hoping to share it with you. And he said, well, Come on in. So we went in the dressing room and opened up the guitar case and pulled out this white ovation. And I'm sitting an arm's length away from him, and he first thing he does is sits down and plays Spanish Fly on it. And I'm just out of my mind excited. And we talked for a bit, and uh, I got to share my story with him. Um, and that story is... Uh, that story revolves around the uh, the the early yellow and black double neck guitar that Kramer made for Ed. It had an aluminum neck on the top with six tuners on the headstock and six at the end of the body, and then a, a wooden neck with a, a Rockinger tremolo on the the bottom guitar. And uh, what nobody knew was you know, that guitar was originally being made for me. And uh, I had been in touch with Dennis Berardi about it on a few occasions, and I, I called one day and, and said, uh, got Dennis on the phone. I said, Dennis, call and see what's going on with my guitar. He said, well, Tom, you've got to talk to Tony Costello. He's our, our new artist relations manager, and uh, he can tell you everything that's going on. I'll, uh, let me get him for you. So I, they put me on hold. And, Next thing I know, I'm, I'm, I'm here in town, Tony Costello. I said, I'm the artist relations manager for, for Kramer now. And, uh, and I said, well, good to meet you. I said, call him to find out about my double neck. And he said, well, you can see it in this month's copy of Life magazine. 
And I said, well, I was kind of hoping to see it in the music room in my house, but, you know, what's up with that? And he said, well, you know, we, we've had uh, Eddie Van Halen in here at the factory you know, quite a bit lately, and the story of you know, the this, the that, the other thing, we're working on some guitars for him, and blah, blah, blah. And I finally just stuck my nose in, and I said, what, what you're going to tell me is that you've given my guitar to Eddie Van Halen, right? And he said, well, yeah. I said, well, you know, if it was anybody else on the planet but Eddie Van Halen, I'd be really angry, but I get it. I said, so I guess the question is, you know, you know, when do we make another one? And at that point he said, well, that's, that's the problem. We don't, because part of our deal with it is that anything we make for him, we can't make for anybody else. And I was a little disappointed, but I get it. And you know, the, the, the downside of that is, is I never ended up with my Kramer double neck, but the, the upside is, is I had a, a, from that day forward, I had a really exceptional relationship with Kramer guitars because they've been over backwards to get me anything that any one of my customers ever needed or anything I ever needed. Uh, we fast forward to, you know, telling that story to, to Ed and he was pretty amazed by it. We ended up sitting up until 3.30 in the morning, drinking and cussing our wives and playing guitar and having a good time. And uh, when it came for us, time for us to part company, uh, because the, the, uh, the, the furniture rental people had come and taken the furniture out of the dressing room, we'd been sitting on the floor for quite a while. And uh, Ed, uh, packed up the guitar and handed it to his guitar tech, said, that guitar goes on the bus. He said, Justin, well, I don't want that in the truck. That's a nice guitar. And he, uh, he looked at me and he says, Tom, you know, is, is there any Kramer guitar that I could give you in return? And I said, no, I, I, I said, I've got 17 Kramer guitars. I said, the, I said, about the only one I don't have at this point is a Kramer, Kramer Paul Dean, just kind of half joking. And, uh, he, uh, he asked me to give him my, my info, so I gave him my name and address and phone number, and he gave me his, and uh, gave me a big hug, and he said, you know, there's not very many people like you in the morning, in the world anymore. He said, everybody wants something from me. And he said, you're the first person that I've run into that doesn't want anything. And I said, well, the only thing that I, the only thing that I want is hopefully so at some point, we get to be good friends. And uh, we parted company at that point. Because of course, he, he walked out, got on his bus. I walked to my car to go home. And I don't think my feet ever hit the ground. I was walking two feet off the, off the planet Earth at that point. But a couple weeks go by, and uh, UPS shows up, up at my house with this. It's a yellow Kramer Paul Dean signature model. And if you can read across the front, it says, thanks Tom, a lot. I owe you one. Eddie Van Halen, OU812-5150. This is my prized possession. And it is up for sale at this moment. Uh, the only reason that it's up for sale is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, we haven't worked in over a year. Um, at 63 years old, there's not a whole lot of people hiring guys like me. But I'm trying to make sure that I have a house uh, when this is over with. Um, this is about the best way to do it. So that's why she's here. I think the funniest part about this whole story is that it started with a yellow and black striped guitar. It had two necks on it. And the ironic part about it is, is it wasn't until about three weeks ago that I realized that this was a yellow guitar with black stripes. That was how much attention to detail Ed paid. You know, he may have chopped holes in guitars to make them do what he wanted them to do, but he was always listening and always paying attention.
and obviously more attention than I paid or I'd, I would have recognized, you know, the, the double neck was a yellow guitar with black stripes and so was this one. But it, uh, it's just a testament to who he was and the power of paying attention. I hope that if you find your way into owning this instrument that you are as proud of it as I am. Thanks so much.